Hello everyone, this is Jeremy McClellan and I'm here at the secret underground headquarters of the Knights of Columbus. Over the past week, there's been a lot of fear-mongering and conspiracy theories circulated by the left about the Knights of Columbus, the largest Catholic service organization in the world. Some people, like Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris, say it's a dangerous right-wing extremist organization, while others say it's just a friendly club for boomer men. So what's the truth? Well, let's go back. The Knights of Columbus was founded in 1882 by OB-1 McGivney to protect Columbus, Ohio from shape-shifting Freemasons. Okay. Much of the Knights' early success was due, due to its pioneering use of social insurance to care for orphans, widows, and the disabled. Kind of like an old-fashioned Obamacare, but nicer to nuns. Throughout its history, the Knights of Columbus has battled anti-Catholicism, the KKK, nativism, poverty, racial prejudice, and today it runs numerous prison ministries to visit all the poor people Kamala Harris put in jail. Thankfully, over time, Americans have largely stopped freaking out about a supposed Catholic plan to take over America and install foreign laws, and switched all of that hate and fear to Muslims instead. Which is good news for Catholics, because there is a plan. There was always a plan. A tunnel between the White House and the Vatican is being constructed as we speak to unite the temporal and spiritual powers and lay the groundwork for a future Catholic monarchy under King Baron, with Melania as Queen Regent. Soon, contraception will be outlawed, meat will be banned on Fridays, and every State of the Union address will be delivered the way God intended, in Latin, with the President facing away from Congress. But for now, relax. It's nothing to worry about. After all, insurrection and paramilitary operations are only 3% of what the Knights of Columbus do. The other 97%? Pancake breakfast and fish fries during Lent. I'm Jeremy McClellan, and thank you for listening.